hello friends so here we have a question geometrical question it is a triangle here okay here this angle is 90 degree this angle is 90 degree this angle we don't know but we have a relationship already known relationship between this angle and this angle the relationship is like this x is equal to one fifth of y so this angle whatever it is this is one fifth of this angle so here it is not only a geometry question it is geometry plus ratio question you remember the goose problem we did and many other problems i am doing on whatsapp to introduce ratios to you ratios can be introduced very simply like okay everybody remember this way or through application so i really wish that i introduce to you ratios through fractions so this is one of those question okay forget everything now you all know that angles of a triangle internal angles of a triangle sum up to what angle internal angles of a triangle sum up to say this is one angle we call it say z this is one angle we call it say x this is one angle we call it say y if i add all these angles it will be a straight line 180 degrees fine you already know that this angle is 90 degrees so this takes care of z here z is 90 so can i say that x plus y is equal to 90 degrees because if three are together 90 degrees one is three together are 180 degrees one already is 90 degree so what is the sum of these two 90 degree because 90 plus 90 is 180 90 already gone so it leaves x and y to be together 90 degrees so we say x plus y is 90 degrees that much is known now x plus y is equal to 90 degrees okay very fine now can we handle it another way now if we say x plus y is 90 degrees then what is x first in order to know this we must know what is this so we find out x very simple x is how much x is y one fifth of y is x and y is y so one fifth of y if we add to y it becomes 90 degrees so can we know what is the value of y imagine this way this equation imagine visually one fifth of y so it is one fifth of y and y is how much can we express y in one fifths of course we can do five y fifth one fifth of y one fifth of y one fifth of y five times right is equal to 90 degree so this y if you write it five times one two three four five it is five times y one fifth right so how many one fifths are there total one two three four five six so we can write that this is equal to six times one fifth of y is equal to 90 degrees so see ratios again the geese and the other questions we did so many times this is the same thing but it is in geometry context six times one fifth is 90 degrees imagine the our balance here so see one y fifth plus y we kept here 90 degree we kept it they were balanced and now six times y fifth is kept here and 90 degree is kept here they are balanced so can we make it one sixth part 
part of this and one sixth part of this why can't we do it so we divide this one or we keep only y y one fifth of y here and divide this also with 90 degree 6 so what is it's 90 degree divided by 6 15 right very fine so one fifth of y is equal to 50 degrees so when i say one fifth of y this is what we are looking for this is it says this is one fifth of y so can i write here 15 degrees okay so this is 15 degrees when i say this is 15 degrees what is this angle oh look here and this is a straight line if i take 15 degrees from a straight line how much it will be left with 180 degrees minus 15 is equal to 165 degrees so this is a total idea what this angle is it is 165 degrees now you say why it is 180 degrees i don't believe you it is not 180 degrees then how do i prove it i will give you a very easy thing that can even convince a baby See here you are, okay, this cap is on the left side, okay, this is a straight, a straight line, 180 degrees. So if I put it here and then I move it, okay, this much, how much the tip moved, it moved 50 degrees. And now you see, we move it again, this much, whatever it is, the tip came to right side. This means this moved how much? 180 degrees <laughs> look 180 degrees measurement tool is right there in your hand here it is pointing to your left now if i keep it like this see if it is like this it is on the left if it moves 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 comes like this it has traveled 180 degree or not okay so with this is our measuring tool keep it here now this is where on your right move it this much we don't know i don't care how much it is Okay, now we have we have measured this. Now measure more, 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 and come here. How much it is? 180 degree. Because this tip, blue tip, that was here, it has gone there. You want to check if what I said, the internal angles of triangle is 180 degree. You don't believe me? Fine, no problem. Like I wrote here, 180 degree. Is it 180 degree or not? Look, this blue tip is on your right. If it comes on your left, that means it has traveled 180 degrees. Fine. We will move. Now it is on your right. Go a straight line. Then we move this much. Go straight. And then we move this much. Go straight. And then we move this much. Now our pen is again straight. And the blue tip has gone here. This means 180 degree total it has traveled. <laughs> this is some fun exercise. It is it is very surprising the first time i heard about this i was kind of shocked simply beautiful so try this this is just a ratio and geometry rolled together and don't, don't get scared with any question because ultimately everything will boil down to numbers from one to nine and we are numerical practitioners i guess yeah thank you bye